Hi, I'm Dan Barron, Tech Service Director for New Farm. We're going to take some time to quickly touch on two key burn down herbicides, Weedmaster and Burnmaster. When looking at these two products, I think it'll help to talk a little bit about 2,4-D and dicamba formulations. Now, first of all, the active components of both of these herbicides are the true acids. So they work in the acid form, but they can be formulated as esters, salts such as amine salts, or even as free acids or combinations of, of any of these. Now, these formulations will affect a lot of things, things like solubility, cold weather handling, how the product mixes with a variety of other products, maybe even things like pre-plant intervals, and just overall efficacy. So as we look at Weedmaster, it's a 240 amine formulation in combination with dicamba amine. In contrast, Burnmaster is built with 240 ester in combination with dicamba in the acid form. So let's talk a little bit about the Weedmaster formulation. So again, this is an amine salt formulation, meaning it's more water soluble. One of the biggest attributes and why Weedmaster has such a broad use in the marketplace is it's, this formulation is less prone to volatility compared to esters. The formulation is also gonna be less prone to tie up on residue, which will give more soil movement of both the dicamba and the 2,4-D, so there's a potential for more root uptake relative to its ester counterparts. And in addition to this, with this formulation though, it will be more prone to interacting with hard water. The cations in the hard water can react and interact with the salts that are in Weedmaster. Um, with that higher water solubility, there's more susceptibility to be washed off the leaves by rain. A couple of other key things to consider. The Weedmaster formulation, as well as other amines, are going to be less compatible than esters with fertilizer carriers such as UAN. In addition, when you look at other salt herbicides that it could be tank mixed with, things like potassium salts of glyphosate can also be um, more difficult when it comes to an amine formulation such as with Weedmaster. So let's shift gears here now to Burnmaster. The EC formulation in Burnmaster certainly is less water soluble, but it's going to mix readily in water. Um, in general, it's going to have better mixing in hard water conditions. It's going to resist washing off the leaves following rains, and it will have quicker uptake through leaves and stomates. So you're just looking at a product. A lot of the functionality is based on it being an oil-based uh, formulation. Come along with that is less soil movement and root uptake. And generally, when you take a step back and compare Weedmaster and Burnmaster, in a lot of situations, you'll see similar efficacy. But when you have tough conditions, cold weather, dry conditions, or maybe the weeds are hardened off, the ester acid formulation of Burnmaster is going to result in better efficacy and quicker activity as well. One other subtle difference that you'll notice when comparing the two, there is higher loading per gallon in Burnmaster than Weedmaster. There's 3.07 pounds of 2,4-D versus 2.87 pounds. And that's actually about 7% more 2,4-D in the Burnmaster formulation. They have equivalent dicamba in each product. Uh, on the flip side from Burnmaster, starting with the ester, uh, formulation of 240, you're going to have more potential for volatility and off-target concerns than Weedmaster. And again, with uh, a less soluble product, you are going to be more, to, uh, more prone to tying up in residue and have slightly less soil activity. So as you weigh the differences between Weedmaster and Burnmaster, you certainly can see where each product has a fit in the marketplace. I wanted to share a demonstration plot that we had this summer on a handful of broadleaf weeds, really water hemp and lamb's quarter were kind of the main ones here, where we compared Weedmaster versus Burnmaster. And at the time, uh, the conditions were relatively dry and the weeds were a bit hardened off. And so we actually did see um, one of those formulation differences playing out in a demonstration plot. On the left, we have Weedmaster at 22 ounces. So that had about a half a pound of, of 2,4-D and then Burnmaster at 20 ounces. So we held the 2,4-D rate equivalent 
as well as the, the dicamba rate. So you're really looking at an apples to apples comparison. You know, at first glance with all the foxtail, which obviously isn't going to be controlled by 2,4-D and dicamba, but if you get down into the canopy and looked at the lamb's quarter and water hemp, uh, you did see quicker activity, probably better overall control um, with the burn master formulation. And when you take a closer look, that kind of bears out. You can see the the water hemp and lamb's quarters that's been treated uh, at seven days. You really are getting a lot of the, the peak twisting and epinasty that comes from 2,4-D and dicamba. But as you, you know, took a really close look, you could see the quicker activity, maybe more complete epinasty there on the on the weeds that had been, broadleaf weeds that had been treated. So it was a good example to kind of illustrate some of these formulation differences in how the ester acid of, of burn master can occasionally work quicker and uh, be more consistent under challenging conditions. So just to wrap up again, weed master and burn master, unique formulations, they have excellent fits uh, in a variety of settings, ultimately providing the type of weed control and flexibility that you're looking for. Thanks again for listening. I'm Dan Barron with New Farm.